Hello there. My name is Cal Stewart Kellogg. I'm music director of the Symphony of the Southwest, and I'm here to invite all of you to the Mesa Art Center at Cato Theater on November 6th for a special concert as we honor our nation's veterans. A little before Veterans Day, but that was the closest we could get in our schedule. We plan to honor our veterans, and the mayor of Mesa is going to address the crowd as well. We're going to have a color guard and a lot of very, very patriotic pieces. We're going to open with the national anthem, of course, and then into the fanfare for the common man by Aaron Copeland. And then we're going to uh, do a, a piece that I wrote. And then I wrote, said Martin Hamlish, no, I wrote a piece. I set the Civil War letter of Major Sullivan Ballou, the letter that he wrote to his wife one week before he was killed at the first battle of Bull Run, the first major battle of the Civil War. In that letter, he expresses his, his belief in government, his belief in his family, and his incredibly endearing love for his wife. As he wrestles with all of this stuff, it is one of the most beautiful and poignant letters that could ever have been written. And Blue was much like the common man in these fanfare by Copeland. He was a man that just accepted his responsibilities and went and did what he had to do, never questioning it. But maybe in the letter he has a few moments where he does kick around the doubts that he has. Anyway, Regardless of how he wrote his letter, we have this piece magnificently interpreted by the gentleman here on my left, Mr. Rob McGinnis, and he's going to say something, I think. So uh, Cal approached me and, and told me about the history of this letter, and it's been um, interesting kind of learning about the, the evolution of how it came to public discovery through the Ken Burns documentary, of course, which only published, I think it was a, a partial version of the letter without the full version. So I, I've always had an interest in, in setting new concert work. So as I mentioned, I uh, did some composition myself uh, and this idea of taking historical settings um, and turning them into music, taking historical texts and turning them into music is something that has appealed to me for a long time. Um, the project that I created early on was a setting of uh, text from the Apollo 11 mission uh, that I took and created a song cycle out of you know, direct settings of texts that were taken from the transcripts. And so this idea of taking these pieces of great history and great moments throughout history and using them to uh, build music around them and create drama and heighten the awareness of them, I think is a really wonderful way to bring those texts to life, to bring those moments to life, to bring those moments to the present. Um, and so I, obviously this piece was written several years ago. Yeah, about 30, 31 or 32 years ago, I think so. All right, so the piece is as old as I am. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> but but we, get to, we get to bring this, this text back up and bring this text up to um, a new group of people and to share this, this really special piece of history in this intimate way. Yes. Um, that I think is just such a great way to take a window and take a, a, a small vision into an event that we're all aware of in a way that we may not have encountered before. Well said. Thank you, Rob, for your kind words. And I'm sure that everyone is looking forward to hearing it, as I am every time we rehearse it. I enjoy listening to the way that you interpret the, the text. And it really has a powerful meaning for all of us. And indeed, if we awaken an interest in such things in a younger generation, then we're doing our part. And that's the way it ought to be. Remember, folks, November 6th, Mesa Art Center, Cato Theater. Don't miss it. It's at 7.30 in the evening. It promises to be a very memorable evening. Thank you for listening.